Hi, I'm Darcy DeClute, and I want to show you how easy it is to write your first Java program. And I'm not talking about a simple Hello World program. Let's build a moderately complex number guessing game that uses variables, loops, and conditional statements. Let me show you how easy it is to program in Java. To get started with your first Java program, head over to onecompiler.com and select the Java scripting environment, JShell. You'll see that it already says system.out.println hello world in the editor. So just click run and watch hello world appear in the output window. We're actually going to create a slightly more complicated program than hello world. We're going to create a number guessing game. So let's start off by changing hello world in the prompt to guess the number. Click run and you'll see guess the number now appears in the output window. Congratulations, you just edited your first Java program. Now before we get too deep into this number guessing application, let's talk about what programming languages do. Programming languages can really only do three things. They can manage data through variables, they can do conditional logic with if-else statements, and they can do things repeatedly and really fast using loops. Our application here, the number guessing game, is going to have two pieces of data. It's going to have the magic number that people will try to guess, and it will also keep track of the user's guess. So we need two variables. You should declare your variables right at the top of your program. So I'm going to add some space to the top of the editor, and I'm going to create a new variable named the magic number. And I'm going to set it to a value of 7. To do that, you just type var for variable. The magic number equals 7. Then we'll put a semicolon at the end of the line. So now we've declared a variable called the magic number, and we've assigned it to the value of 7. We also need to keep track of the user's guess. So we'll type var the guess equals 5. We're just hard coding the guess to start, but later we'll take input from the user. Now let's handle the condition where the guess is less than the magic number. In order to do that, we need an if statement. And in Java, an if statement looks like this. We type in if, then we have a true or false condition inside round brackets. And here, the true or false condition is whether the guess is less than the magic number. If the guess is less than the magic number, we'll just print the guess is too low. So move to the following line and tab in. Type in system.out.println and in double quotes, the guess is too low and end the line with a semicolon. Then click run. You'll see it says the guess is too low in the output window. Now I'd like to make one change to the output. Right now it just says the guess is too low, but it would be better if it actually said the number in the output. So right before where it says the guess is too low, type the guess plus and then the guess is too low. Trim the guess out of the text string and then run the program. You'll see the new output is five is too low. Next, let's handle the situation where the guess is too high. So let's change the guess to a value of nine. Then we'll add an if statement that checks if the guess is greater than the magic number. Tab in on the next line and say system.out.println the guess plus is too high. Put the semicolon at the end of the line and click run. Now your output says nine is too high. Okay, the last condition we have to deal with is when the magic number and the guess are the same. So I'll set the guess and the magic number to seven and I'll add an if statement that checks if the guess equals equals the magic number. In Java, to check if two numbers are the same, you use two equal signs. Then tab in on the next line and write system.out.println the guess plus is correct. Add a semicolon to the end of the line and click run. Now the output is seven is correct. And that's the basic logic for our number guessing game complete. Now it would be nice to take input from the user. Because we're running Java in a browser, we have to add this comment at the top, slash slash dash dash and then execution local. The component we use to get the user's input in Java is something called a scanner. We create a scanner by saying scanner input equals new scanner, and we pass it to the system input stream, which is called system.in. This creates a component called input 
that can bring the user's input into our program. Add the line, the guess equals input dot next int after the prompt to pick a number. That updates the variable named the guess based on the input given to the program. Notice how we didn't have to use var again. You only use var the first time you declare the variable. Anytime you update a variable, you can just use the variable without saying var. Now I'm just going to change the variable, the guess, to the number zero, which will help me out in the next step, because the next step is to put all this logic in a loop so that it runs until the user picks the right number. To do that, highlight all of this code from the system out to the end of the last if. Then tab it all in and put curly brackets at the start and the finish. The braces define a local block of code. We only execute this block of code if the guess is not equal to the magic number. So we'll add a line that says, while the guess is not equal to the magic number. An exclamation point followed by an equal sign means not equal to in Java. Now add three values for input, five, nine, and seven. Then click run. Each number is evaluated and the output says five is too low, then nine is too high, and then seven is correct. When the magic number is guessed, the loop exits and our program stops. Now there's a number of improvements we can make to this code to make it even better, but we'll do that in the next tutorial. This code is pretty awesome just as it is. Now pat yourself on the back and congratulate yourself for coding your first non-trivial Java application.